Um, so as Kitty mentioned, I'm, I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Cardasoft and we're in, in digital mapping and um, location in insights. Um, next slide, please, Kitty. So before I sort of get into it, I wanted to share a little bit more around sort of the, the major themes that are happening in the market. So firstly, I think we can all agree there's there's so much data now, and that's really driven by you know more devices and also by by governments that are actually opening up the opportunity to to get some of this data publicly available uh, data and also organizations providing it. Uh, next slide, please, Kitty. Uh, uh, and also what we're starting to see, uh, I think that's that's a miss. Uh, what we're starting to see is there's actually a big demand for uh, organizations to actually see and use this data. And not only is it, is it being felt uh, across you know the technical aspects of an organization, so GIS professionals, but also within the executive suite. So executives now really want to use this data to make actionable insights. And uh, I think this quote from a global managing director from Accenture really sums that up. Next slide, Kitty. Um, and really what we're starting to see is not only is there this massive demand for uh, location insights uh, at that business level and uh, around AI and predictive analytics, but there's also quite a big of, uh, demand around spatial thinking in business. So how do we use spatial insights to actually tackle some of the largest challenges, both within our organization, but then outside as well? So there's now this greater understanding of the power of, of spatial spatial technology, location intelligence to actually help decision making. Uh, next slide, Kitty. Uh, and the, we've seen a couple of commercial use cases. I think we're starting to see more and more commercial opportunities. So on one end, I uh, provided two here. One is Lowe's using location intelligence to actually identify new stores. And on the right is a, a leading Indian bank using it around credit decisioning. So these are all Great examples of how location insights are actually helping organizations make, make critical business decisions. Next slide, Kitty. Uh, but we, we do have a bottleneck. Um, and what we found in our engagement with you know, enterprises and governments is you know, the technology is still quite archaic. It, it's difficult to sort of bend it to being able to use predictive analysis. And even when you can, it's incredibly costly. Um, and this just simply won't work when we talk to a lot of business leaders they need to be able to make quick decisions and, and can't rely on you know long projects uh, and difficult tool sets. Uh, so to wrap it up, um, for, for us, really where we see the future of location intelligence is going into that C-suite. So providing tools and support for them to actually make decisions on the fly um, instead of relying heavily on some of these older systems that might take too long to actually be able to make decisions. So, so I'll leave it there. Thanks so much, Katie.